I'm Dawn. And I'm Brandy. Welcome, Welcome to Plant-Based Plant -based Alaska. Alaska. So today we are going to be making ginger wasabi edamame hummus. And it's out of the Engine 2 cookbook. It is on page 66. And Jane and Ann just made this the other day or just showed their video. So we're going to give you uh, the exact amounts. So what we're going to start with is, let's see. Combine the edamame. And this is one and a half cups. Let's just bring this a little closer. And then we have one fourth cup of pickled ginger. And do you remember why we didn't get the red? I think it had food it had, dye in it. It had dye in it. Was it? it? Yeah. Oh, this smells so good. Mmm. Pickled ginger. Like a is nori real roll. Good to settle in your stomach, too, for some sake. That's what I got that out for. Mm. <laughs> and then next we have, so that was a one fourth cup of pickled ginger, garlic. It says two cloves, but I like garlic and these are just really tiny cloves. So we're just going to throw that all in there. And then next we have water, one fourth cup of water. Thank you, sir. And I am thirsty. No. Stay on top of your water. I was just a prop, gang. <laughs> I was the prop. <laughs> lemon juice. Three tablespoons of lemon juice, and I did measure that. Tablespoon. You said three? Yes, sir. One. Two. Three. Then also we're going to add wasabi powder. Um, so one and a half teaspoons of wasabi powder. It says one to three depending on how spicy you want it. And I think one and a half is good for us. One tea, one and a half teaspoon? Yes. And we surprisingly had all these ingredients at the house. So I'm really excited to try this. Uh, and we are making some rye, what were those? Rye crackers. And then let's see, we don't add in the sesame seeds until later. So from here, we are going to go ahead and blitz this. Alrighty. going to add one fourth cup of toasted very fragrant sesame seeds and we toasted the sesame seeds for how long there five to seven minutes five to seven minutes okay so it should be nice and ready now And we did end up adding a little bit water, a little more water, just to get a little bit more of a smoother consistency. But go ahead and do whatever you would like. It smells real good. Oh, it's going to be so good. And we did make the homemade rye crackers. Yeah. Look at those. Wow. Thank you. So let's give this a shot. Mmm. Mmm. It's like... Mm. It's almost like having sushi. I'm not double dipping here. It's delicious. And these crackers are amazing. They are the rye crackers. So... Engine 2, great cookbook. And remember, nothing tastes as good as being, being healthy, healthy feels. feels. Thank you, folks.